online safety. Do you like going online? There's lots of fun to do, but it's important to remember some simple rules that will help you and your friends to stay safe. First, keep personal information safe. And remember that people online are strangers. Let's look here. We have Polly. She's playing some games, online games. She meets someone who just asked her about her name. What do you think Polly should do? Should she tell him his name? Remember, these are strangers. Never speak to strangers online. Don't share photos or information like your real name, birthday date, or even school, what school do you go to? And also your address, don't give them to strangers. And never ever meet up with someone you met online. Make sure you only talk with friends you meet in real life. Also remember, never share photos before asking. Let's look at this example going. Sal takes a photo of Ash. She wants to share it with their friends. They all think it's funny. But what's that? Somebody else can see it too. The photo starts to pop up everywhere and Sal just can't take it back. How do you think Ash feels? It is also important to always be kind to others. Some people think it's okay to be bullies when they can hide behind the screen. But talking to others online should be just the same as in the playground with each other outside. You should always be kind and respectful to each other for all time, online and offline. Ask an adult. Yes, ask an adult. Ask your parents to be online with you. They can help you find things. They can help you find the right things for you, right programs, right plans. And they will never put you down online. Also, never click something you don't know. Never, ever. It will lead you down to viruses. You need to be protected. Parents should be happy. So take care. Take care and follow online safety. Parkers are not the only one who are endangered for cybercrime. It is also related to those who use their mobile phones with their social media network in a really unhealthy way, harmful to others, which will lead to many unnecessary problems like bad comments to each other, bad tweets. It could lead to really a hard ending. Don't share passwords on the internet and keep your privacy settings on. You have to make sure your internet connection is secure and you also have to be careful what you download. You have to be careful who you meet online and make online purchases from secure sites. Choose strong passwords and practice safe browsing. And talk, don't talk to people you don't know on the internet. Hacking online when you shop online. People could hack your account when you're shopping online. Uh, they could give you bad things when you, uh, when you pay a lot of money. Don't shop online. You can go shop normally so that no one would hack your account and take more money from you. Have you ever wondered why do apps ask you about the password? And I'm going to explain, because they don't want anyone to hack you. And if you don't remember your password, this is your fault, because someone might have hacked you, because you've shared it. So don't share your password and don't communicate about it. This is called online safety. I can be safe online by doing, uh, not uh, to go on the wrong 
websites. I play PlayStation. Do you meet people online? Talk to them? Uh, it's sometimes no, sometimes yes. Are they strangers? Yes. Whoa. Do you think it's safe to talk to strangers? Sometimes I think it's no, but sometimes I think yes. If a stranger would do something wrong, like hacking your account, would you be happy? No. Okay, so please try not to talk to strangers. Oops, I will try again. Somebody hacked my account. Who did I give my account to? If you're not using the internet safely, you may get hacked. And, and hackers might post pictures of you that are too personal. And they also might, might go into your texts and text things that you never said. And the next morning, the, your friends may not be your friends anymore. Hacking your location and they might come and find you and do things. They might burn your house down, they might rob you, they might do many things. When you go to school, they might come and find you too and kidnap you and say that they're a friend of your parents, but they're not really. Here are some tips about being safe. Don't use your, your real name, don't give the real ad address, and don't use your school name and you will be safe. If you're watching this right now, my powers of deduction tell me that there's about a 100% chance that you use the internet. <laughs> internet safety. Now, wait a minute. Okay, before you roll your eyes and say, my mom told me all about internet safety already, or my surf instructor explained to me the dangers of leaving information on the internet. Just hear me out, all right? We spend a lot of time on the internet here at Wellcast, and we give pretty awesome advice. I think you'll agree. So today, we're going to give you our top four things that you absolutely need to know about internet safety. Are you ready? Tip one, the internet is forever, ever, ever, ever. That was all in-house. No joke, anything that you put on the internet, no matter how old, could be there until you have grandchildren of your own who will be Googling you. I mean, if Google is even still a thing in 40 years, I mean, who knows, maybe Bing can make a great comeback. So what do you do? Well, start by Googling your name, your phone number, your address, just to find out what's really floating around out there. Plus, it's kind of fun. If you're on social media, and who isn't, use the strictest privacy settings out there. Tip two, don't put personal information online. 73% of teens and 68% of young adults are on social networking sites. Of those people, roughly half post personal information, phone numbers, addresses, emails. Don't do that. If you do, it leaves you open for attacks from either cyber bullies or just some weird folks who want to take advantage of you. Do yourself a favor and ask a trusted friend what private information they can see on your sites. If you're not happy with the answer, remove it. Tip three, don't forget about smartphone safety. In an era of smartphones, cyber safety should extend to your phone too, especially when it comes to tech safety. Remember how your parents warned you about accepting car rides from strangers? All right, don't accept phone calls or texts from strangers either. Only answer texts and phone calls from your contact list. Tip four, handle hacking intelligently. Part of being a member of the World Wide Web is being aware that no matter how careful you are, your account may get hacked. Getting hacked sucks, but it isn't the end of the world. And there are a few important things to do when you get hacked to ensure your safety. A, change that password and make the new one secure. B, check your sent box and let any affected people know that you were spammed, especially if your account sent out a phishing link. Your friends deserve to know what's up. C. Do a sweep of your computer with antivirus software. All right, odds are, not only did you send something nasty out to your friends, you might have something nasty lurking in the recesses of your hard drive. D. Back up your files. If there's a virus your computer doesn't catch, you don't want to lose everything. Okay, backing up files is totally a chore, but you'll be really happy you did it. 
Parents should know what their kid is watching, texting, and gaming. Because um, maybe your kid is texting a stranger or a thief, and they might rob the house. Uh, and you should also see what your kid is playing. Because maybe uh, because there are many games online these days that, uh, that uh, cause suicide to other kids. Last but not least, uh, what they are watching. Maybe your kid is, wa uh, is watching something inappropriate or something that teaches them bad stuff. Don't talk to strangers online. Always make sure that you, you have your parents' permission and that your parents know what you're doing.